and welcome to day two of my um, 12 days of Pilates. My name is Jen Voss. I am a certified personal trainer and Pilates instructor in Chicago. So, um, welcome. We are going to start down on the floor today. So have a seat. I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit. I think that's a little bit better. Excellent. So sit up nice and tall. We're gonna work through uh, ab series today. Love the ab series. And as you're going through these workouts, just know that on the replays, you compare two to three of the uh, workouts together for a nice, you know, 20 to 30 minute Pilates workout. So we are gonna start with our feet long, our arms reach over uh, long over those legs, chest forward, shoulders down on your back. Breathe and see her roll it down. Inhale over and roll back up. And four, four, three, two, one. Pull your chest forward, stack your shoulders over your hips, breathe. And see her reach those legs away as you roll over. Come up, see your over reach. Tap your head to the wall in front of you. Two, one, chest pulls forward, shoulders back, chin up here on the floor. One more time, see her. Reach those legs away over and up. Three, two, and one. So nice and top. We're going to bring those feet in. And we're still going to be in rounded spine. So we're, you can either bring your hands on your shins or underneath uh, by the hamstrings under the knees. Either way, your elbows are going to be down or uh, lifted up to the sides, elbows pull out to the side. And I want you to round the back. Exhale, pull the leg up and in. Create more space between your chest and the top of your thighs. And exhale. So when we are rolling like a ball, right, I want to have my heels in, keeping them close to my tailbone. Sometimes we'll use a Pilates ball to give that feedback of hugging the calves towards the hamstrings. So breathe, exhale around, elbows wide. The next inhale, you're going to round back. Inhale, roll back, and exhale up. When you go back, you want to come up as a shoulder roll, and then get around as we come up. Get around as we come up. Eyes on the knee, hold you down with the ceiling. We'll do four more. Four, up the shoulders. Three, exhale. Two more. Two. This time we're going to go back on the shoulders and hold. So now we're up on the floor. Point those toes so the elbows come down. One leg comes away. Lengthen. Maybe lower that leg just a little bit. Take a breath. And switch. Reach the other leg away. A little lower a little bit. And elbows me in. And switch. Leg lowers, elbows down, shoulders down. Long in your neck. Do not flash your shin too much in your chest. And switch. And switch. And switch. Let's do four more. Four. And three. So stay pointed. And two. And hold this end. Nice straight this leg up to the sky. Pull your chest forward. Walk your hands up. Exhale. Inhale, chin up, pull it in. And then switch. Chin is up, take a breath. Exhale, walk it down. Open your chin and walk it back up. Pull your chest forward and switch. Bottom leg can rest. You're going to chin your chest, walk it down. Open your chin up. Chin your chest, walk your arm up. Pull your chest forward, point that toe to the ceiling and switch. One more time. Chin your chest, walk it down. Open up. Keep your navel. Reach. Towards that angle and switch. 
to do your test. You're going to head down to the mat to your test, lock it up. Hold it. And both legs up. Nice. Hold it there. And three. Arms pull away straight. Two. And walk both hands down. Nice hands into the mat. We're going to point and flex. And point and flex. Keep your toes pointed. Make sure your sacrum comes out so your butt's not lifted off this floor. Okay, so let's straight up out of the hip joint. Wind the shoulders, palms press down. We're going to take it into reverse. We're going to take it to the side. Lower down. Scoop it center, or all the way through, and then up back center. Drop it the opposite direction. Scoop it through, and back center. Lower, lift, and center. Lower, bigger toes, keep them together. Doing one more on each side. And then lift, lower, and lift. Nice. Hug both knees in. Take your head up on the mat. Reach for those ankles. Double knee stretch. Up. And circle around for five, four. Biceps kind of come by ears. Here's three. Hold up and in, and two, and one, hold here. All right, so from here, let's take one leg one, put our hands behind our head, and do crisscross for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hug it in. Pull your upper body down, and then lower the feet to the floor. We just have hands that are going to come along and reach those legs long for me. Nice, right leg is ready to come up to the sky. Point the toe, raise, and then lower down with control. So three, two, hold this here. Hands behind your head. Head comes up over your navel. Reach one arm behind your thigh, the other arm behind your head. We're going to walk this up. Can we sit up tall? Pull your chest forward. Do a little jerk tree. Here are three. Two. Hold this up. Relax those elbows down. It relaxes your shoulders from your ears. to your chest. Keep this leg here. Try to keep this hip anchored. Other leg reaches away. Inhale over. And exhale. Pull your chest forward. Elbows wide. To your chest. All the way out this time. One more time. Sitting up top, pull it in. Three, two, and one. Nice. Lower that right away. Sit up top. Go to C curve all the way down. Arm reach overhead. Hands come down to your hips. Both toes are pointed on legs. The other leg comes up. Three. Two, point this to the ceiling, hands cut behind your head, lift up with your navel, one hand behind your thigh, other hand reaches to that hamstring. All right, press that long leg in the floor long and walk it up, 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 up. Point that to the ceiling, hold it in for three, two, hold it here, chin in your chest, walk it down. Keep this leg as tall as you can, reaching for the ceiling. Inside arm over. Walk it up, eyes up on that. Ankle or your big toe. Pull it up. Chin your chest. Walk it down. Head down, reach. Legs are reaching away. Keep that bottom leg in the back. One more time. Inside arm reach away, point that toe to the sky. Last time you come up. And then pull it in. Two. Straight arms. Let the leg come down and sit up tall. Nice. So that's a nice stretch in the back of our legs. And uh, so from here, I want to do wide leg rocker. Okay. If 
this uh, is not the right thing for you in your practice, then um, oh. sorry, I just noticed um, my Facebook live was not was paused for some reason. So anyway, if uh, this wide leg rocker is not in your practice, then um, just repeat what we just did. Okay, the tree. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you can always bring one leg up at a time, but we're gonna try in our practice, sits bones are pressing down, and we're gonna try to lean back and bring both legs up. You can reach below your knees or straighten the arms and reach above your knees. Okay, the back leg. So we're gonna come lean back and try to reach for those legs. Hopefully, you can pull your arms straight, shoulders back, chest forward. All right, so point those toes. And then let's just bring your legs together and open for three, two, and one. So keep your feet wide, toes are pointed away. Take a breath, exhale, pull your belly button in. Those arms are still long, but you're hanging off the back of your legs. And we're just gonna come back to the shoulder girl. And shoulder roll and shoulder roll, tail on down, chest forward. Do two more shoulder roll, chest forward, too far. And shoulder roll, try to stick it, pull your chest forward, and let's go again for three, two, and one. And then and then roll. Right. All right, so the last series that I want to do for today's practice is we're going to come on to our knees. Press the knees down, hug the outer thighs in, shoulders are up and down. And I want to bring your hands behind your head, pull your head back into your hands, and take your left foot out to the side. So pull my right hip back, pull your right hip back, keep your head centered. Take a breath and feel tall in your spine. And exhale over towards that left leg, creasing in your left rib cage. Come center, shoulders stack over those hips, head pull back. And exhale over. Try to add flexion into your practice whenever you do Pilates. Exhale. One more inhale. And creasing in that left rib cage, exhale. Nice. Take your breath and twist to the back. Exhale. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Draw that left elbow to the back of the room. Exhale. Take your breath and come over under your hands. Leg is out to the side. Pull your shoulders back long in your neck. Widen your fingers into your English. That toe is going to, leg is going to lift eight times, breathe, and pump the toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three. There goes my bow again. Two, and one. So I'm going to lift to the back. Okay, a little for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Squeeze your glute. Two, and one. Pull the knee in. And back up. Shoulders stack over those steps. Hug the outer thighs in, hands behind your head. <laughs> nice and tall. Other leg comes out to the side. I guess they don't make tape like they used to. And I use packing tape today. <laughs> Open up your chest, feel tall on your spine. Top of your head gets taller to the ceiling. And so we're to the right. Come center, shoulders stack to those steps. And exhale to the right. Come center. And exhale to the right. Let's do one more. Keep your chin parallel ground and exhale. Nice. But add that twist nice and tall. And twist. And then you can center. Inhale. Keep your left hip facing front. The twist comes above the navel. Do one more time. Inhale. And we'll go to that right shoulder. And we can center. All the way down, hands under your shoulders. Neck is long, eyes are up, and floor ahead of you. Point that toe, lift for eight, eight, seven, six, 
two, and one. So you get to the back, grab your hip, squeeze those eight, seven, six, three, two, and one. Nice for you. So a child's pose, I'll give a little bit of profile. You're going to tap your head to the floor, look between your thighs, reach your hands towards those back ankles, palms up to the sky. On the exhale, get a bit of rounder. And hold. Hands come underneath your shoulders. And we're going to come up. The last move is a straight arm plank. So pull your shoulders down. Make sure like long feet. Our toes tucked under, we are hip distance to walk apart. Flip up your right leg, reach the heel back and forward, back and forward, slide it down, toes curl under, lift, reach back, lift, and lift. Just do that one more time, lift, reach the heel back, lift, other side, reach, and reach. Nice, keep it across. With those hips up, round. I want to get more job. Pull the belly button in and up. And walk your hands back until your feet in contact. And then exhale round the back. And then when you're laying over a round barrel, we're going to roll on the way, standing on top of each other. Slow. Pull the belly button in and up and up and up. That's going to come up last. Shoulders will stack up those hips. Throw the shoulders up back for three and two and one. Let's end with a plie today. Big toes are lining up. Tuck your tail. Shoulders back. Three and exhale. Plie. Inhale. Stand tall. Exhale. Tailbone falls down towards the heels. One more time, we're gonna hold here for five, four, pull the shoulders back, three, chest is forward, two, and one. Thank you so much for joining me today. Maybe tomorrow my boat will stay up. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow.